talked about this in the previous video, but we just want to emphasize it again that a direct proof, which is a, what we're about to work through, is a proof in which we start only with the premises that we've been given and then work forward from there. We don't introduce any other type of contradiction argument or something like that, or suppose something is not true and then deduce something is true. We just work with the premises and deduce the conclusions. First example of a direct proof. Remember that a direct proof is starting with premises and just working forward from there to obtain the conclusion. Let's try to prove that the sum of even numbers is even. Let m and n be even integers. By definition, this means that we can write m as 2p and n as 2q for some choice of p and q in the integers. Now, if we add them together, m plus n will be 2p plus 2q, but that's going to be 2 times p plus q which is a multiple of two and therefore even. Okay, so use your knowledge of the previous example to give the following a try. Try to prove that the sum of two odd numbers is even. Okay, so let's look at this practice problem. The sum of two odd numbers is even. Assume that M and N are odd. By definition of being odd, that means they're an even number plus one. So we can write m as 2p plus one and n as 2q plus one for some integers p and q. Now, if we add them together, what we see is that m plus n is 2p plus one plus 2q plus one. If we simplify this expression, we get 2p plus 2q plus two. All of these have a two in them, so we can factor the two out and write this as two times p plus q plus one. Now we've shown that m plus n is a multiple of two by definition that's what an even number is and that's it Do one more practice problem just to make sure we really get a grip on these direct proofs again using the same technique show that the sum of an odd number and an even number is odd let's have a look at the solution to this practice problem now. so recall that we need to show that the sum of an odd number and an even number is odd proceeding in the way that we usually do we'll take m and n to be integers we'll assume that m is even and n is odd if m is even we can write m as 2p for some integer p and if n is odd we can write n as 2q plus 1 for some integer q if we add them up, we see that m plus n is 2p plus 2q plus 1, but that must be 2p plus 2q plus 1. Now 2p plus 2q, both of those have a factor of 2, so that means that 2p plus 2q is even. The 1 doesn't have a factor of 2, so we now have an even plus 1, which is odd.